and welcome back to my channel. I'm so sorry for the lack of uploads lately. I mean, the weather is finally breaking here. Thank you. I am so thankful the weather is breaking. I mean, a decent amount of the snow has now melted and I feel like I'm finally getting into like spring mode now because the sun shines out again and I love that. And I've been doing like a huge spring cleaning and just trying to get everything organized once again. So, I mean, I'll definitely give you guys a room tour once everything's updated and my room's all clean and organized and stuff. And I've also, I did have a little bit of a nasty cold for a while there. And then today I just woke up and my neck was killing me right here. But you know what? I was like... Today is a good day, it's sunny out, and I'm going to film a video because I've been slacking majorly, and we have to get back into the mode of things, Ashley. So first off, I have these two products here, and they are very similar, just they are two different grades of products. This one in my hand right here is a high-end product, and this one right here is more of a drugstore affordable product. These are both moisturizers, and these are used before you apply any makeup. Even if you don't wear makeup, you can use these just to hydrate your skin. It makes your skin feel really nice, and it makes it appear a lot better. So first, we're going to talk about the more affordable one right here. So this is the Pond's Dark Spot Correcting Cream. It's the Clarent B3 and it says it's got vitamins B3 and C in it. And this was about five or six dollars I believe and I love this one. I do think it helped to fade some of my acne scars and dark spots over time. You do have to use it for quite a while before you notice a difference but it's very moisturizing and it is great for the price. I mean you can't beat five dollars and this is a huge tub right here so this did last me quite a long time. This one right here is a Sephora Intensive Moisturizer. This is for really really dry skin and I do have times that my skin goes from oily combination to really dry especially in the winter time which is when I purchased this product and you can feel the difference between this one and the Pond's Dark Spot Correcting Cream. This one is a lot thicker of a formula and I do feel like this one gave me slightly more hydration but this one was I believe $38 so you're paying $5 versus $38 so you really have to make the choice to see if that price difference is worth it to you or not. And just for an idea this one from Sephora is only 1.6 fluid ounces whereas the Pond's one is a full 7 fluid ounces so I I mean, there's quite a size difference there, of course, as well. This one did last me quite a bit longer than the Sephora one did, but these are both both great products. They are just two different types. Next, I have my favorite foundation as of lately. This is the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. And I love this foundation because it doesn't really have a matte or a dewy finish. To me, it's more natural. It doesn't cling on to my dry patches, but it also gives me insane amounts of coverage, which I love. I love a full coverage foundation. They say this is a medium coverage foundation, but it's definitely buildable to be a full coverage foundation. I'm in the shade 2.1. So this is shade 2.1 right here and it does say it's oil free and there is a full one fluid ounce in this foundation so it's the size of a regular foundation. This next product was a holy grail product of mine that I used up and I got this in a kit I bought a while back from Makeup Forever. I believe it had like the foundation, the primer, maybe a small sized concealer and a small sized finishing powder which is what I have right here. This is the HD finishing powder and I loved this product especially to set my under eye circles because it didn't give me a white overcast under my eyes but it made sure everything stayed in place, nothing moved around and there was absolutely no creasing. Right here, this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. This is a travel size one. I think it's about half the price. This was around $15, I believe. I just love this one because it's so easy to just tuck away in your purse if you're going somewhere. And you can just spray your face with this to freshen up your makeup. It feels amazing on your face. It just like freshens everything up. And it also brings your makeup back to life. It makes it look like you just recently applied your makeup. So this is an amazing product. And I will always stand by this. I've purchased like eight of these or something, so... I love this. This right here is a daily makeup brush cleanser. This is from Sephora. It was $7, so it was very affordable. And I like this because it's very tiny. It's easy to keep on my vanity where my other makeup products are. And I can just clean my brushes once I'm using them. This isn't for like a deep clean on your brushes at all by any means. But this is like if you're doing a makeup look and you're using a few eyeshadow brushes and stuff. And you want to switch up your colors, you can just spray your brushes with this. It's very fast drying. So you just wipe it off on a paper towel or a towel. Anything you'd really like. Anything to get the makeup out and then you can use that brush again it'll be ready to use within like 30 seconds it's super fast drying and it doesn't leave my brushes feeling greasy or oily at all this product I feel like I've had forever this is a L'Oreal telescopic mascara and it's basically empty 
I am like scraping the inside of the bottle with the mascara wand, trying to dig some mascara out of this, but it has been great while it lasted. It has a very thin brush right over here, and I love this for my lower lash line to apply mascara, and I also like applying this before I apply any other mascara on my top lashes as well, because it just really separates my lashes well, and it lengthens them really nice. So I don't have my empty one of this, I have it somewhere, I just don't know where it is exactly, but this is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eyeliner in the color Perverse. This has been my holy grail eyeliner for like a year or so now. I've bought so many of these I can't even keep track of them because as soon as I run out I have to run back to Sephora and immediately get these. This is by far my favorite eyeliner. It is so so pigmented. They have a bunch of different colors. I love the shade selection. I have a few different colors. I think I have a purple one, a teal one, a brown one, and then this black one. And also, this doesn't really smudge a lot. I do like to set my eyeliner, though, and set my under eye area just to make sure it doesn't smudge. But I don't really have a problem with this smudging, and it also lasts a really long time. Well, I think that about sums up this video, so thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a comment down below if you have any products that you've loved and you have used all up, because I'd love to check out some new makeup products. And I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Look at the little tiny unicorn! Isn't he so cute? I just got him and he's an eraser and look at his head comes off. Ah. I'm drinking tea. I'm drinking tea. I'm drinking tea. Look at the cute kitty that's on my cup right there. I'm just kidding. I'm not drinking tea. I'm drinking water. Not that you guys can see that because I'm going to spill it everywhere. Oh my god. There's not much in there, but there's some water in there. Trust me. So without further ado, here is a video of the products I've used up. And do you see this? I'm wearing earrings. So this is a first. This is definitely a first in like a long time. These are both a moi. So this is the pond. Oops. This one right here is a Sephora Intensive. Well, I think that about sums up. Well, I think that about sums up this video. So, thank you guys. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a products that I've used up video for you guys. So these are all products that I loved because I did use them up. Most of these I've actually repurchased again already because I love them that much. So let's just get started. I mean, the weather is finally breaking here, thank God. 